Question 7. This is a projectile motion question. A cannon fires a cannonball with an initial speed V at an angle alpha to the horizontal. Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm just shooting. Can you zoom in a bit? I am shooting a projectile, which is a ball, with a velocity of V, okay, with an angle of alpha. Which equation is correct for the maximum height reach H? So you want to find H. Okay, there are three methods. Method one, which I don't know how to do, is to memorize. Because uh, for projectiles, there are a few common equations that some people can actually memorize. And by some, I mean some of my students. Lah. Not me. Okay, So things that people may want to memorize, but it's totally not not productive to remember is things like what is the range of the projectile what is the maximum height and then what is the time of flight how long will the cannonball be in motion so certain people commit this to memory but as you probably notice a trend by now i don't memorize things because my brain just don't like to do it so if you don't memorize, then you've got two methods, okay? Let's say you understand the physics. So you can do what I like to call the kinematics equation or the Stuva method. Stuva method here would mean you start from scratch law. Yes, if you memorize it, you can immediately detect the answer and then you move on. Nah. But my memory is not to be trusted. So I'm going to do the thing where I split the vector as I've done before in a question earlier in this paper set. So when I split the vector, this will be V sine alpha. And this will be V cos alpha. So when I say using the kinematics equation, the first order of business that uh, you may need to do is to actually list down what variables is given. ST, UVA, Stuva. You may not need to do this if you are already very familiar. But let's assume it's early in the morning and our brains are not really working. So let's do it for the X component and the Y component. So for the X component, right, I'm going to take this point as the initial point. Starting point is obviously where the cannon is being launched. So because of this, the initial velocity in the X component is v cos alpha and this will be v sine alpha okay let's say i want to find it at the maximum height so this is my final position okay so at the final position the vertical displacement is h do you have the horizontal displacement nope you do not have the horizontal displacement uh okay never mind so let's say the time taken is t all right here t is equal to t here t is equal to zero okay what else do we have we know that the horizontal acceleration is zero for all projectile motion right this line here is consistent one acceleration is zero on one side one direction of the motion for straightforward gravitational field projectile then it will be horizontal for electric field projectile then it may not be horizontal lah, but you definitely get a zero in one of this direction and a is not equal to zero in the other direction in this case is gravity okay but now we need to think a little bit about sine because i know the direction of gravity is downwards Okay, so I will do the normal thing or the convention, the traditional convention where I take upward as positive and downward as negative. This means my gravity G has to be negative. Okay, so I look at my answers and I'm like, hmm, they want an equation with no T, right? So I could, step one, try to form some equation. I think I'm pretty confident with Y because Y, the final speed at maximum height, when this is h max, this velocity is zero. So when your projectile right travel to this position, your v y will become zero. So you think of your projectile. Okay, let me draw the projectile first. This v y will get smaller 
and smaller and by the time you reach here vy is zero okay because gravity is acting in opposite direction so because this gravity is acting downwards but the vertical velocity is upwards so the speed will decrease to zero means after that ah, yeah, after that we increase more we increase 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 so these are vector components of the velocity okay what about the horizontal component horizontal component never change so this will be v cos alpha v cos alpha v cos alpha so the vertical component here is zero and this is an important point to use here vy is zero so i can now use my equation i can use any equation that i want so let's say i use the most straightforward one v is equal to u plus a t this one for the y component or the y direction zero is equal to um v sine alpha plus negative g t miss why are you doing this uh? so i can substitute the t uh, or find a way to substitute t so from here t is equal to v sine alpha over g okay i guess some of you may be thinking because this is for people who have problem with dealing with the sine and cosine algebra so once you have time then you can use another more straightforward equation s is equal to half u plus v times t okay so the this is still for the y component okay let me write here this is also the y component so h is equal to half what is the u v sine alpha v is zero times t okay there are many ways to solve this probably show you a few in this video so this will be v sine alpha over g all right so this is my t v sine alpha over g and i'll put this inside v sine alpha over g okay i think the answer is coming out already from here h will be equal to v square or v sine alpha whole thing square Okay, because you have v sine alpha here, you have v sine alpha here, divided by 2g. Yeah, so this is one. Some of you may be like, Miss, we list down Stuva so that we know which equation to use. And I can save some time. So I'm just going to call this method 1, m1 method two so i can save some time by using in, a, in an equation with no t why is an, an equation without t the equation would be v square is u square plus 2as so method two your v square is zero your u square is v sine alpha square plus two negative g the vertical displacement is h so again i can rearrange all of this i will get 2g h is v sine alpha square and your h will be v sine alpha square over 2g okay many roads lead to rome when you see projectile don't panic Okay, some books will always say, find time first. Well, it's a pretty sound advice. You can always find time first. Once you find the time, you can use another equation to find the value of H. Or you can just, the whole point of listing down is so that we will select the equation with no time. No time inside the expression of the equation. Why don't I want time? Because this is an MCQ and I look at all of this, there is no values in terms of T okay so there's a second method use kinematics equation third method uh this one sometimes cannot use one but in this question you can method three is to check units
哇 ，Miss can check unit 吗 ？Can unit is H 吗 ？H must be in meter in SI unit. So I'm going to check the SI unit for V. This is MS negative one for V, and then G because sine alpha have no unit, and G will be MS negative two. So A is out already because the unit. The unit doesn't work, lah. This is s negative three, and it's not m. Wrong. Okay, let's look at this one. This g is m s negative two, and then v is m s negative one. This is actually equal to s negative one, which once again is not equal to m, so it's wrong. So I'm doing this thing called dimensional analysis or unit analysis, which is very helpful one. Okay, let's check this v. M s negative one square divided by M s negative two because g is gravitational acceleration acceleration M s negative two. So from here, I will get M square s negative two divided by M s negative two. Everything cancels off. You will get M. Ting ting. So the answer is C. But just in case, we will check this one also. This is M s negative two square. Okay, cos of g divided by m s negative one. Aya, you can see here the seconds cannot cancel out. This will be m square s negative four divided by m s negative one. This is m s negative three, which is not equal to m. So this is wrong, wrong, wrong. This is correct. The answer is C. So if you ask me, uh. The fastest way is actually to use dimensional analysis, but it's totally not answering the question because the question wants you to think about projectile. The question's intention is for you to do this to see if you can do this or not. Okay, and if you're unlucky and you do dimensional analysis and then you got two answers where the unit will fit, then you GG. Okay, because just because the unit is correct doesn't mean the equation is correct. But for the equation to be correct, the unit must be correct. Right here. All correct equation should have consistent units. We call this homogeneous. Okay. Not all homogeneous equation are correct. My father should have a mustache. Not all people with mustache are my father. A is B, but not all B is A. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, unit analysis. But the intention of the question is for you to do kinematics. Or if you memorize these things, then I, <laughs> then okay, lor, you win, lor. Right, that's it for the projectile question.